in my mixing bowl here we have some softened butter that is i allowed it to sit at room temperature for an hour or so before we started with the recipe as you all can see my fingers can easily slide through the butter so that's how we want our butter to be along with that i also have some brown sugar brown sugar adds a beautiful flavor and color to our baked cake along with that we will also be adding some caster sugar to it Using the paddle attachment, we will cream the butter and sugar until it is light, creamy and super pale in color. This would take anywhere around 15 minutes in a stand mixer. You can definitely make this recipe using a hand mixer as well. But using a stand mixer is way more advantageous. Like while that is creaming together, let's sift our dry ingredients which include some flour and almond flour. Along with the flour, let's also add in some baking powder and baking soda. Some cinnamon powder, apple and cinnamon are a match made in heaven. The recipe cannot be complete without those two, right? So sift all the dry ingredients well and then mix them until combined. Let's put this aside for a moment and start uh, peeling and grating our apples. I am using the Granny Smith variety here. One more thing, do remember to scrape your bowl every now and then so that the butter and sugar are creamed evenly. Meanwhile, in about 15 minutes, you can see how light and creamy our butter and sugar knob looks. Just to remind you guys, this is how we had started with. Look how dark, thick our butter and sugar mixture now looks. And in about 15 minutes, it has turned into this gorgeous, almost white and pale in color. To our creamed butter and sugar mixture, let's start adding our eggs one at a time. Give it a quick mix until it is well combined, scrape the bowl down and then add your second egg. For those of you who do not prefer eggs, I have an amazing eggless apple crisp recipe coming up next so make sure that you subscribe to our channel for more updates. A quick tip here is to add a spoonful of your sieved dry flour that would make sure that your batter does not curdle up. Finally add in the vanilla essence and mix everything well until combined. Finally we have our creamed butter and sugar ready along with the sieved dry ingredients, some yogurt and the grated apple. It's now time to make the crumble topping for which here I have some plain flour and almond flour in a bowl to that I'm gonna add in some brown sugar and some cinnamon powder. Mix it through and add your chilled cubed butter and then rub your butter into the flour mixture until you get a wet sand like or crumb like texture. Now that all our components are ready, let's start making the cake batter. To our creamed butter and sugar mixture, add in half of your sieved flour. Give it a mix. In goes the yogurt. Mix that as well. Fold in the grated apples.
finally add in the remaining flour and combine everything until you get a cake batter like consistency. So I am going to transfer the cake batter into this 9 inch cake tin that I have lined with parchment paper and grease the sides with butter and some flour. Level it evenly and then top it off with the crumb topping that you have prepared. Let's bake this in a preheated oven of 180 degrees Celsius for 55 to 60 minutes or until a skewer inserted in the center comes out clean. Allow it to cool completely before you slice it off and enjoy it with your favorite cup of tea or coffee. That was it for today's video. I'll see you soon with yet another one. Until then, this is Sushma signing off. Take care. Bye-bye.